Ability systems. So I just wanted to go over <clears throat> how you could possibly make an ability system that is not only effective, it's easy to make. For example, if I click on this thing here, I didn't put any effects on clicking on it, but I can click and I have a little magic bar that goes down. I can click on this guy and we create a guy. Right? <clears throat> and my magic's too low, I can't use that one, but I can still use this one and now I can't. How did we do it? <clears throat> so logic wise we have get mouse button down pretty simple we're gonna do stuff I get the Y position of the mouse and I check its its normalized value and all that is and I only put that in there because if I click up here I don't want to do anything so normalized zero to one if I'm above 0.7 don't do anything if I come down here I can do something I come up here I can't but I clicked on this but now I can go down here and I can do stuff if I click up here I can't so that's why I put that in there <coughs> but this is where the, this is where the magic is this is the ability system right here run a template of a variable and when you're done come back that's literally all it does so this guy and I, I just have like you can do this by any triggers or whatever it don't matter so anyways <clears throat> on these two images if I click on the image we set FSM object into our logic there its current ability is now this ability and same with this one they're both the same and I put them down here so I can build abilities using templates and if you haven't seen my template tutorial by all means watch that but what a beautiful way to create abilities so I can just be like okay well in this one for example let's open it up let's get FSM logic uh, or of uh, logic it's magic like it's magic points I guess you could say let's compare do we have enough points for this no finish yes okay well let's subtract those points and let's also get this owners uh, mana bar which is this guy All right you seen that there he's a variable inside the logic so we're just getting it we're going to set its value to whatever we subtracted here we also set his magic value to that same value so they at least match then we're going to do a mouse pick and I set another vector target position which is currently empty to the mouse pick so they're they're even and I do that for because <coughs> with this particular ability I modify this position but I always want to know what this position is so without damaging this position I can more or less create a copy of it and that's what this is they're just copies of each other because now I can turn around and be like let's do a random position X and the Z add it to our copied position and create our effect at that position and let's just loop the state five times go down to a wait for one second and then finish even though I did technically mess this up because we should here set vector 3 value up at the top um, target position should now be our hip position so we target position is hip position here 
Oh, I guess I don't technically need it here, do I? No, I do not. So we set, <coughs> like we set this to where we ever click the mouse. We do our modifications to this one. And when we loop back and we run the state again, because we run it five times, that's what this guy's doing, we set this back to the default value and re-pick our, our stuff here. And that's it. And then when we're done, we finish. So you, you build your abilities. You just, you just kind of get in the mindset of, I'm going to build an FSM, and this FSM is going to be an ability. You know, what do you want it to do? Name everything you want to do. And you use the logic as your gateway for any variables you ha might hap happen to need. Like maybe you want to play an animation. Maybe this is, a, this is actually on a player, not just an empty object. And when you click on this ability, that ability says play this animation on your player. And it plays the animation, does whatever. Spawn things, do particles, play sound, whatever. So I got, I got three of those actually. So you've seen the burst money and the create guy. Now I could easily just come along and grab another ability and just drag it in there. Done. That's all I have to do. So I could have tons of abilities. And now if I click, we have a sound effect, a little bit of mana drop, and we're playing with force. I click on this one we start placing people. All right, and that's simply just by doing this. And you could take this a step farther if you, say, do this. is type object and we'll have burst money attack and we'll have explosion ability and we'll have our create guy and you can now fill that thing right up <clears throat> well this thing now on click let's uh, get FSM array item from this guy and we can just choose an index now stick that out here and we're going to store it oh it's type object the object type is f I seen it up there. Uh, da, 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 da. FSM template stored as an ability, and we set that ability in. All right, so now let's close that guy. If I copy him and paste him here, you know we can say, okay, well you take index one. Don't pay attention to this one now. We're just going to use the indexes. So he's index zero. Actually, let's come out of maximum play for this. Oh, well, that's not going to help us very much now, is it? Such silliness. So we're at index zero on this guy. So if I click him, we do that. But if I change this guy to index one and now click him, but now if I change him to index two and now click him, how about them apples, huh? So that should hopefully spark some ideas in you on how you could use these templates to create all the abilities you could ever dream of um, and you can just swap them out 
and use your logic you're casting a spell or maybe you're building houses maybe you want to build a sim game and you want houses you don't make these as abilities you make them as buildings right <clears throat> and they could have costs they could have all sorts of stuff and when you click we run our checks see your do you have enough wood and iron to build this thing and if so this is what we're building we're building it here da 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 right so <clears throat> that is that is a beautiful start to an ability system or some type of system where you need you need a lot of variety in the logic of what you're doing right so hopefully that helps somebody out there or guides somebody or does something for somebody an ability system or something <clears throat>